Uh, my name is Douglas Bull. I've worked with Executive for the last three years. The company's approximately 15 years old. It is a full service tree care company in the Delaware County, Chester County, Montgomery County areas. Uh, our arborists are certified uh, through the ISA, which is the International Society of Arboriculture. Uh, I've been certified for almost 27 years and it's uh, it comes with continuing education that is somewhat rigorous so we do have to go to conferences we do have to go to symposiums we do have to study have, uh, depth of knowledge and it does you have to create a culture where uh, your employees and and the people around you realize the the level of investment and that the depth of knowledge that you get from somebody that has a different company or a different set of skills um, it, it, it pays dividends. Not all tree companies do this. No. Should they do it? I think anybody that has people working aloft should have um, the technical knowledge to do your first aid, your CPR, your, your effect and aerial rescue because it's not trained in many other first responder type schools. It's not, it, it's so specialized that we are the ones that have to be able to perform it if there was an accident. The single rope technique for access in a tree has been around for a long time. Just to get it, just choking a bowling up to the top of the tree to go up in the tree is just the first step. Because it just, the big thing is to save your energy. Keep talking to their victims. They are hearing you. Subconsciously, they could be hearing you. You could be mentioning like, hey, if they have their kid, bring up their kid's name. Like, hey, so-and-so's not doing, he's like ready to play baseball with you. Or like, anything to try to trigger some type of mental spark could bring them back for a second. So I get up, he says he's tired, he's beat. He could have muscle cramps or whatever. But when I'm up here, don't touch him yet. So, hopefully by the time you're in the tree, EMTs are here. When EMTs are here, clearly state who you are. Now, you should have people on site. I'm going to get to this point so the EMTs are here. And he's like, hey, get fucked up. I need help. As everybody gets in the play. We get down. You bring them over. And now you're down. Jake. Jake Riggs, Riggs Tree Service. I'm from Bryn Mawr. Uh, they've asked me out to help them out with an aerial rescue training, uh, go over some techniques and some type of, I guess, how you should perform an aerial rescue on a job site if it were ever to happen. I performed enough practice scenarios for aerial rescue and done enough first aid training where I feel confident to give my perspective and my knowledge on how you should do it to any novice climber. But I. There is no expertise or standard for our industry for aerial rescue. Not for aerial rescue. You can do some type of sprat at height rescue, which is not in our industry yet. I believe OSHA and ANSI are creating a platform later this fall to discuss that, but there is no type of classes, expertise. You can just only go off of any type of climber with experience that can give you any type of info. To practice on their own, research on their own, go go get CPR first aid train. It's a quick 45 minute to a two hour class. I think dive a little bit into it yourself on your own. I mean, you gotta try to go do different classes. There's different first aid classes, different input. There's different teachers. I mean, there's there's plenty of knowledge out there, plenty of classes to actually find for yourself. So That's maybe, what I would want. I'm third generation, so I grew up at a tree. My grandfather had a business uh, since the 1940s. Then I've been climbing since I was 13 years old in summer breaks, spring breaks, winter breaks. So I'm 33 this summer, so I'll have 20 years of actually being within a canopy for summers. And I'm fresh out of high school, I've done this since I was 18 years old. So I climb single rope technique primarily, unless it's a large removal, and I'll switch over. 
but when I was climbing moving rope system, I still accessed it. Lift your leg. There you go. Definitely a weird feeling going from moving rope to that rope. 